Okay, so uh, if you're familiar with this Korean era, this isn't a tank. This would be a mobile uh, gun or an anti-aircraft setup. This is known as the M42, descendant of the M41 Walker Bulldog. Runs the same power pack, runs the same transmission, same Boxster flat six motor, same suspension. Basically a different top. Obviously the turret uh, front end's a little different. Uh, obviously, uh, this is actually kind of the same as an M75. M75 set up a little different, a little higher profile. Also the same power pack. There's an exhaust, got an exhaust on both sides. Drive sprocket. Here's the rear, a little, little bit different looking than a 41. These flat six boxer motors, they sound pretty good. They sound pretty interesting. We'll go ahead and take a look inside real quick. Get the flashlight fired up. Oh yeah, look at that. So you could run a four-man crew in one of these. Uh, driver, let's say spotter navigator, and then uh, gunner positions on each side. And there's a loader spot. We'll go up here and look at the turret. By the way, folks, this is an operational machine. <laughs> Complete operational, except for live firing. Crosshairs right there. There's the front half of the motor sitting right there. Continental series. Pretty neat. I'll stand over here on top of the, basically standing on the hood right now. Look down the barrel front and back there. This is a really nice restoration on this machine. Turret is operational, lateral, vertical. Hatches are all operational. Very cool machine. We'll probably hear it run one of these days, I imagine. the armor here not the thickest but to be a light anti-aircraft gun to go in quick start shooting and get out of dodge fast you want to keep her on the light side this would be your heating slash blower go ahead and look at the controls here so a backstory Shermans, Stewarts, prior tanks, they all used to work kind of a, a tippy top, kind of an A-frame, or better known in the trucking world as Hendrix and like a walking beam. A guy came to the United States military and he approached them about the suspension on these and said, hey, I've got an idea for your tanks, possibly cats and what have you, with this torsion suspension system. The U.S. military actually turned him away. So this guy, being an old school farmer, whatever he was, he actually approached the Germans. The Germans said that's a hell of a system. They actually took his offer up and they built the Panzer and another line of tank with this torsion system. And the United States had a guy that went over there, sold them that system, and they had it in their tanks before we did. All because we turned them down and said we didn't want to change our tried and true system that we've already got. Well, they should have listened. Kind of an interesting backstory. Sold it to the Germans. Imagine that.
go ahead and look at this half track over here real quick while we're here in the neighborhood. This is a private collection, by the way, folks, in an undisclosed location in Oregon. Anti-aircraft, Modus 50s on this one, drum clips. Pretty schnazzy. 20 miles an hour, max speed. Look at these John Deere's.